In the wake of the coronavirus pandemic, countries across the globe are trying to corner Beijing and Tiananmen Square is the perfect ammo for it. China gets riled up every time any country brings to life the ghosts of 1989. On Wednesday, the US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo met with the survivors of the horrific Tiananmen Square massacre on its 31st anniversary. The State Department offered no details on what was discussed but said in a statement, we mourn the victims of June 4, 1989, and we stand with the people of China who continue to aspire to a government that protects human rights, fundamental freedoms, and basic human dignity. The Tiananmen Square massacre was a watershed moment in the history of the People's Republic of China. It was here that all hopes for democracy in mainland China were crushed brutally once and for all. 31 years ago in Beijing, the Chinese government launched a bloody massacre against student activists and teachers who had gathered there with the hopes to bring democracy in the country. The majority of them were killed while those who were left were eventually forced to flee the country and seek refuge abroad. Xu Qinxian, a former major general of the Chinese People's Liberation Army, was court-martialed, jailed for five years and expelled from the Communist Party of China after he refused the order to use force against the demonstrators in Tiananmen Square. Brain-dead troops, who only took orders even if it were to slaughter the fellow Chinese people, were brought in by the CCP. They came with assault rifles and huge tanks. And these soldiers killed several thousand demonstrators, including students. China never released an official death toll from the incident, but a declassified document written little more than 24 hours after the massacre gives a much higher death toll than most commonly used estimates which only go up to about 3,000. It is estimated that over 10,000 innocent Chinese were killed in the rebellion by the authoritarian regime. In China, June 4 has been nicknamed as the Internet Maintenance Day for the number of websites that go offline around the anniversary every year. Their owners feel that being in the dark is safer than accidentally publishing something which could provoke the ire of the authorities. But there is an iconic image from the incident that just keeps coming back to haunt China. The image of the tank man standing his ground in front of the Chinese tanks is one of the most recognizable photos of the entire human civilization. The image of tank man quickly became a powerful symbol of both the bloody events of 4th June 1989 and the non-violent resistance, but the identity of the unknown rebel and his fate remains unknown. Many people in China are still unaware of his existence and only a handful of photographers were able to record the event without having to destroy their material. Moreover, CCP has censored everything related to Tiananmen Square. China does not even recognize that this ever happened and censors all content on it. Till date, not many Chinese know of the magnitude of the Tiananmen Square massacre as the state government and the state-owned media have kept them in oblivion. Even if the Chinese know little about it, they have been misled to believe that the pro-democracy protests were an attack on their nation. The survivors mentioned earlier who met Pompeo urged him and the USA that they should try and educate Chinese citizens about the truth of the events of June 4, 1989. One interesting bit to the story is Xi Jinping's wife, Peng Liyuan. Xi Jinping's wife, Peng Liyuan, is infamously known for a picture where she is singing to the Chinese troops following the bloody massacre where possibly thousands were killed. The image is living proof about Peng Liyuan's involvement in the greatest human massacres of all time. Although the image was swiftly taken down from Chinese social media platforms, but as is the case with the internet, Nothing is ever permanently deleted here. The image still does the rounds of the internet routinely, especially during the anniversary of the Tiananmen Square massacre, despite the Chinese trying their best to censor it. Today, China faces pro-democracy protests in Hong Kong. The famous annual vigil of Hong Kong that is taken out in the memory of the Tiananmen Square massacre has for the first time been banned citing COVID-19 fears. Hong Kong is on a similar trajectory as the calls for democracy have been steadily rising. 
Because the media is independent at the moment in Hong Kong, China has not been able to penetrate as much as it would have liked. But you can expect restrictions from Beijing if it is able to find its way around with these controversial bills. With last year's extradition bill and last month's national security bill, China is trying to quash the freedom movements in Hong Kong, just like it had done 31 years earlier in Tiananmen. China must be held accountable.